Hi, welcome back to Metal Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. I'm Jeff Rappaport, and you are? I'm Ed Rupka. All right. So you're a pretty famous guy in the uh, the metal scene. I guess so. I guess people tell me that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you you seem like a humble guy, though. If you're you're a quiet, humble yeah, guy. Yeah, it doesn't pay to you know toot your horn too much. So yeah. You always can knock down that. Well, I'll toot it for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so you've been on like some of the most classic albums of all time. Yeah. Megadeth, uh, Death, Violence, Massacre, every you know every every mutilation kind of like name you can think of. Yeah. I've done. Yeah. Well, how did how did um, it start? I and mean, how did you get in? Like all of a sudden you started doing it, and then that's like been like your bread and butter, I guess, right? Yeah, I, I went. I was looking for work. I went to uh, a friend of mine recommended I go to see uh, Relativity Records out in uh, Jamaica, New York. So I went out to my portfolio, and they liked what I what I had shown there, and they gave me in a couple weeks. They gave me an assignment to. Uh, a Venom box set. Uh, they had a, a catalog of Venom albums and I put this out. So I did that and after that I got a couple more assignments and then the really big break came when I did the Megadeth uh, P-Cells. They were on their roster and uh, Dave liked what I had done previously for that label. And he requested me to do that cover and I met with them in New York and we talked about it. And I did that and then I stuff was everywhere. That, uh, and then, a lot of I worked for other labels then after that because I became a real name from. Did that. you become like? Do you do you get hired by the label or by the band? Uh, in the beginning with the label, I pretty much worked for like Relativity and then Roadrunner and then some other smaller giant. Some other Combat. labels would call call me in, you know. But uh, now it's then it sort of shifted. The bands would call me. And now it's it's pretty much exclusively the bands call me. I, I get from labels. Some of the major labels like uh, Metal Blade or uh, Nuclear Blast, I get I get contacted by them. Okay. What, what um, album cover are you most proud of? Uh, they all they all have their own special meaning to me, you know. The, the P Cells, that's a really that's a significant milestone one. I really like the Uncle Slam one I did um, when God um, what was it called when God dies? Yeah. Because that was like the last one I did of that era. Um, so that has a lot of meaning for me. I think that came, to, everything kind of came together, the, the hand painting versus the, uh, the airbrushing. So that, I think that probably be that one. And there's some new ones I did. I really like the, the, the resurrection one I did for the Misfits, the, the poster right here. That I really like too. And there's some stuff I did recently, um, Merciless Death. Uh, that's well, a, the, yeah. the Swamp Zombie. That, I really that's like a great that color, one. Yeah. Yeah. And the question is, are you a fan of all these bands? Yeah. Are you, are you a thrasher? I'm not, no, I'm not a real big metalhead. I, yeah, really, yeah. I really like more uh, the punk stuff. Like the Misfits, I really like the Misfits. I did uh, Zombies Do Espacio. I just did a cover for them. I like their music. So I'm really more like a punk kind of guy. All right. I guess my, the last and the most important question I have for you is, are you honored to appear on Metal Rules TV and why? Oh, it's great. It's a big honor. <laughs> <laughs> Never did it before. So there you go. Yeah. All right, would, is there anything you'd like to plug, your website or anything that's going on? Yeah, I got a website here. You can zoom in on this. And there there's go. all the information you need to know right on there. And like cool. my Facebook page and buy my prints and sketch cards and whatever junk I got going there. I got sketchbook. I got a new sketchbook, a Martian sketchbook. It's uh, This one's a special 30 uh, edition, only 30, and that has, it comes with a sketch inside. Because I I really like Martian, I like that 50s kind of thing. So. Yeah. It's not just metal. You're allowed to like other things. Well, you know, yes, Martians. Are, to do Martians things. to me, Martians are really metal. Like Mars Attacks. Yeah. The, the card set. That's like a really metal kind of thing. It's like ultra violent. Yeah. And it's kind of like gory, and it's kind of got a perverse sense of humor to it. So I really see that as fitting all that. What you should do, maybe like a Mar uh, like a Martian Thrasher cover. Yeah. yeah. Like kind of mix the genres. Uh, Gamma Bomb. They're kind of an alien yeah. theme. How do you think this right face would look as a repka? I, I think Art I could piece. do something with that. You might yeah. maybe make a good zombie or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I have a very interesting... You get an interesting yeah. shape of your head there. Yeah, yeah. Kind of squeeze this way a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, a, I'm actually a little afraid to uh, to shave my head completely because I don't know what's going on underneath there. Yeah. Like, yeah I'm afraid that I'm going to be a really ugly bald man. <laughs> so I'm just holding on to what I have here. You got a good thing going with that little wheel and speak thing. Yeah, it's nice, right? You like it, huh? Yeah. It uh, works for you, yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> well, thank you for your time. All right, thank you. It's painless, right? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, thank you. Bye. <laughs>